Hi, and welcome to Excel Quantitative Analysis using Excel QM and QM for Windows. To learn how to download and activate Excel QM and QM for Windows, please see the video number zero. In this video, I will be dis discussing how to formulate a linear programming model using Excel QM. All right, a little bit about what exactly a linear programming model is. It's a, a model or a technique that is designed to help managers in planning and decision making according to a certain resource allocation. Okay, so there's about seven different properties of a linear programming model. Um, first, there's got to be an objective function. Managers usually are going to want to either learn how to maximize profit or minimize cost. And those are the two types of ob objective functions within an LP problem. So there's also going to be one, at least one constraint. Examples of types of constraints are budget or time. Uh, there has to be alternative courses of action to take. How many products to produce, how, many, how much personnel to use, um, how many machines um, to use in order to maximize profit or minimize cost. All right, moving on. Objective function and constraints are linear. That means that they can be discussed within fractions. They are divisible. Um, there's an exact number of constraints within one problem. That's not going to be changing until you make a decision on how many products to make or personnel to use. And we assume also that uh, the variables or all the answers are non-negative. For example, in, in this example, we're using tables and chairs. So you're going to produce more than one table. I mean, at least one table and at least one chair. Uh, you're not going to produce a, a negative amount of something. All right. So let's switch over to our Excel QM tab. Go to alphabetical linear and integer mixed integer programming is the program that we're going to use at this time. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and switch over to my next worksheet. And let's look at some of the objective functions on sweet on. I'll read the problem as you look at this um, worksheet. The flare furniture company produces inexpensive tables and chairs. The production pro process for each is similar in that both require a certain number of hours of carpentry work and a certain number of labor hours in the painting and varnishing department. Each table takes four hours of carpentry and two hours in the painting and var varnishing. Each chair takes three hours of carpentry and one hour of painting and varnishing. During the current production period, 240 hours are available in carpentry and 100 in painting. Each table yields a profit of $70 and each chair a profit of $50. So in our objective function, we want to maximize profit. And in order to do that, we're going to multiply, or wait, okay. In our data, our objective function is to maximize profit. So for tables, our max profit would be $70. And chairs, that's $50. All right, what are our time constraints? Four and three. Okay, so what that looks like in everyday language is 
4 times the amount of tables plus 3 chairs has to be less than or equal to the number of hours available within that week. So switch over to the maximum problem. 4 times 3C has to be less than 240. So when you talk about divisibility as being one of the properties of an LP model, that's what it means. Well, that's not a very good example, sorry. 4.3. All right, what's our next constraint? Um, 2t plus 1c has to be less than or equal to 100 hours available that week. All right, so 2, 1, 100 available. And then our constraint 3 and 4, whoops, just says that we're making at least one table and one chair. I mean, if you're a furniture company and a customer walks in and they're going to want to buy table and chairs, not just tables and not have anywhere to sit. All right. So once you have your objective function, your two constraints, and your two non-negativity constraints, you're ready to solve. And once you enter these non-negativity constraints, that also means that we're always working in the northeast quadrant of the graph. I always sometimes get that mixed up if you don't read that carefully enough, but you're always going to be working in the top right hand corner of the graph. So now we need to know how to solve this problem. And we want to go back to our data tab, click on solver, and that's going to bring up your parameters. This is a maximization problem because we're trying to maximize profit. Um, Let's check and make sure nonlinear. Yeah, sim simple LP problem, linear programming. So we're good on that. And there's other things that you can do in here. Add more constraints. Um, change your constraints. But right now, let's just solve and see what it tells us. All right. Whoa. Keep solver. All constraints. OK. So our optimal solution would be 30 tables and 40 chairs. So what does our objective equal? Well, I don't know why that didn't show up. Equals 30, I'll just type this in by hand, 30 times 70 plus 40 